Hi, I'm Jason from Suppressor Deck, and today we're going to do a short video to explain how to change the solenoid valve. So that's the uh, three-way group uh, electronic valve. The three-way group solenoid sits just underneath the group head and allows the water to go from uh, within the group head through the water filter. So let's get to it. First of all, um, very good idea uh, to have the machine cooled down, but at very least, you need to um, have your water off and your electricity off. Uh, disconnect from the uh, power source. All right, so we've got the solenoid cover here, which has a Allen key screw. Boom. We remove that and place the screw somewhere where it's not going to be lost. Then we'll grab our half inch spanner and undo the elbow. Tuck that back and then we'll grab a number 14 spanner and undo the bracket that holds the solenoid cover in place and uh, also the coil. Now we should be replacing this for probably one of two reasons. Uh, either the coil has um, shorted out or is open circuit or the uh, valve itself mechanically it has um, in some way got a fault. So we're going to just wiggle that down until we can remove that. We're then going to pull out the feed and now we're going to cut off the heat shrink so that we can disconnect. Now remember you've got to have replacement heat shrink available. That is a number 10. Careful not to cut yourself and just trim it off. Get rid of that. Then you can unplug that. Now, if you're dealing with a hot machine, now is when it starts to get uh, awkward. So get that Allen key out and just undo the two locking screws there. If, as I say, if it was a hot machine under pressure or you know, still residual pressure there, um, then now it would be getting very hot and hard to handle. So maybe some um, rubber gloves if you're on a machine that's uh, hot. Uh, and then you are grabbing your new solenoid valve, disconnecting the coil. Um, but you've got to make sure both O-rings are there. Sometimes if your group is leaking a little bit, uh, the O-rings can be broken down and the leak's happening that way. So just double check that you're not replacing a solenoid valve um, unnecessarily. Now, there's only one way this valve can go on. So the, obviously the two holes will line up with the two holes underneath there. We will simply be putting that back in place. Nice and firm with our two screws there. Uh, 
Now we're going to slip on our heat shrink. Say it doesn't matter positive or negative, active and neutral. Put that into place. And then grab our heat gun and just cure the heat shrink. Make sure you've got all of the connection covered. So you've got a little uh, display ring there. So you pop that on. Then your um, washer, spring washer, and nut. Try and make that nice and straight. Give that all a little nip up. Don't have to um, over tighten. Just nip it up so it's not vibrating loose. And then nip up. Spanner so that's going directly back so. And the exhaust silicon hose. Nip off nice and flush the excess. Uh, at this stage you could probably, um, it'd be wise to turn your machine on and test up if you like. Um, I'm feeling confident and for the sake of a demonstration we'll simply uh, rebuild, place the solenoid cover back on Once again, just nip it up. Doesn't huge pressure. And uh, that's how you replace a solenoid valve on an espresso deck. Pretty easy, but it does make the machine off, and both in terms of the electricity and in terms of the water. Thanks very much. Any questions, feel free to contact us at our website espressodeck.com. Thanks very much. Have a lovely day.